The big question, and Mac Harlins has it for us this week. Yes, thank you, Sorg. Um, well, this is kind of a downer to start things off, well, but uh, I thought it was a good chance to kind of uh, celebrate a, um, um, a part of professional wrestling that sometimes doesn't get the attention that it deserves. But uh, earlier this week, Iron Mike Sharp passed away. And if you grew up watching Saturday morning wrestling like I did, um, he was a constant, usually losing, often yelling, but basically losing. Um, so simply put, I just, um, you know, just struck me that maybe it's time for us to celebrate these guys who go in there and, and, and do the work and aren't quite as celebrated as some of their other uh, contemporaries. So I just want to know, who is your favorite enhancement talent slash jobber of all the times, or even just one that sticks out in your mind as a personal favorite? Who has one to start off with? I'm I'm still working on mine a little bit. Can I go first? Go for it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, come on. Barry (laughs) Horowitz. He's the greatest enhancement talent of all time. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Barry Horowitz, I I love that. Didn't he have a shirt that just had the handprint over his back shoulder? Yeah, he had a cape. I think, too. He had the cape. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to go a little obscure. And I'm going to say Freddie Joe Floyd. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why Freddie Joe Floyd sticks, stuck out in my brain so much, probably because of the name. But it was just uh, like it was like seeing an old friend that you really didn't like. <laughs> it's just like, you know, <laughs> You know he's gonna be in there. He's gonna have maybe a five minute match, and he's he's gonna be looking up at the lights. But it was it was fun to watch him work. Okay, okay. Uh, what about you, uh, Garza? Um, okay, I'm gonna go with one. They they're not exactly the wrestlers, but more of a gimmick. And there's a tactic that has mostly been used to enhance, and that is Los Conquistadores. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's more of a gimmick than the actual wrestlers because the wrestlers tend to change inside those masks. But uh, I just think they're like an awesome tag team. Uh, the, the idea of just gold, gold all over. So <laughs> I, I'm going with those conquistadores. Hey Garza, be fair. They are one-time WWE World Tag Team Champion. True. That is true. <laughs> true. That is true. <laughs> Every once in a while, they get their come up ups, right? Um, I, I think I think we definitely need to talk about um, I think the jobber of all jobbers, the Brooklyn Brawler. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and, and he's 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 kind of be one of the most celebrated uh, jobbers that they've ever had. Um, because uh, I mean, it, they've come around and they brought him back to just get booed, you know. It, like, didn't he like become the Boston Brawler at some point just to get yes. booed in New York City? Um, yes, he did. And, and 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 strangely, he was part of the Heenan family for a little bit too. Um, I don't know how that all worked out, but uh, but yeah, uh, you know, I got you got to go with the brawler. He's timeless, Matt. Um, I tell you the one that keeps coming to my mind, and it's bizarre, and I will not be upset if all of you guys kind of shoot me away for saying this, but I've been watching some old ECW, really old ECW on the network. And there's this dude called Surfer Ray Odyssey. And if you think Paul Heyman is a genius, you need to see Surfer Ray Odyssey because it will cause you to question that belief. <laughs> dude is out there in board shorts and a tank top with the sunscreen still on his nose. And, uh, oh, I saw that guy. Wow. <laughs> like, what is this? Um, so Surfer Ray Odyssey. I also uh, – honorable mention to um, one of the uh, Nitro jobbers, um, the Desperado Joe Gomez. Oh, I, I, I love that you put in some WCW love. I was going to go with Sergeant Craig Pittman. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Eamon, what about you? Or was that, was that who you're going with? Well, I, Pittman's one. Uh, but we also kind of mentioned before, uh, we started the second half about like how, you know, the period of which the jobbers kind of rose. Um, but I was very happy. And one of my favorite parts of Raw a couple years ago, uh, uh, in a much happier time, was the period when Ryback debuted and we got jobbers each and every week yes. with the most ridiculous possible names. <laughs> it, it, it was 
it was one of those like, oh, you gotta look forward to it kind of. Things. Um, yeah. Didn't, it was, it was that, didn't one of them that resurgence of the job. It was nice. Didn't one of them have kind of like a Twitter uh, popularity off of it? Uh, Stan Stansky. Yes. Uh, uh, it wasn't like there was one where they like had like they just took two presidents' names and just swapped them and gave it to each of the guys. <laughs> <laughs> like one of, them was, one of them was called Jefferson Washington or something. Oh jeez. <laughs> um, I'm I'm also gonna give an honorable mention to a TNA driver. Shark Boy. Oh, oh Shark Boy is a good one. Yeah, He's Shark a good Boy, one. especially when he became Stone Cold Shark Boy, mm-hmm. and he was eating donuts through his mask. Oh, now, uh, now that you now that you bring up TNA, you realize how much I like. You remind me how much I miss North Farm and Dewey. Boston. Yeah, yeah, Do- <laughs> Dewey and North. That was a good time. But they were they were really only EC three specific jobbers. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> like they're brought in to lose to one man and one man only because they can take that one percenter like they broke their necks every time <laughs> can, can, can i throw also honorable mention for the period when virgil was more or less a jobber um, <laughs> so think, basically everything that wasn't the two weeks when he broke up with Ted DiBiase. Right, right, right. And he was like the million dollar champion and everything. <laughs> like I remember, and then I remember like like specifically that one issue of WWF Magazine where there was a angry letter in the back where he was mad about uh, uh, WWF Magazine not not writing about him more. And then like whoever's writing it, probably Vince Russo, uh, said, well, if you win more, um, you know, <laughs> you know, very, very, very pointedly. And I'm just like, wow. WF Magazine's a dick. Um, but <laughs> there you go. And this is like around, what, 93 or something, right? So. And then you got to know Virgil. If you only knew. And then I got to hang out in Virgil's living room. That was fun. And you can check out those results over at IndieWrestling.us. <laughs> Selection of Virgil. Jeez. And damn, whoever said that they won it. Eamon, Eamon has completely taken that Virgil interview if we ever booked that. So. It's fine. I told you I'd take it. Well, next time you visit us in Pittsburgh, I'll take you to his house. <laughs> so. I had to sit next to him on a plane once, and it was it was oh, not even wrestling God. related. And he wouldn't stop talking the entire flight. And finally, I just had to pretend like I was sleeping and sick him on somebody else. But man, no, wait, 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 wait! Did he? Did he? Not shut up! Did he know you were involved in wrestling? I, I unfortunately had a W. I had a WrestleMania jacket on. That oh. Day. oh no! All right, all right. And then he recognized one of the photographers just from back in the day or whatever. And the next thing oh, you know, no. it was he was he was selling himself. Man. Oh, he's great! Himself, it's man. great. Yeah, no, I had to spend three days next to him at a at a at a con because they're like, oh, they, they must put me by him because I was selling wrestling DVDs and promoting the podcast. And oh, that was that just started it. And then Joe Dabrowski did, and then. And then he got like 14,000 likes on, on the list of everything he learned from Virgil <laughs> on Facebook. And that that's what turned into this video project. So there you go. Um, but anyways, that was fun. Uh, let us know. Uh, WMS Big Question. Hashtag WMS Big Question. Let us know your favorite enhancement talent. Uh, jobbers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, over on uh, over on uh, uh, the, the Twitters or the, social, or, I'm sorry, the uh, Facebook for Wrestling Mayhem Show. At Mayhem Show.